So, Eli, have you ever played Jack the Giant Slayer? No, you haven't, because it's coming out tonight. Oh, I'm, I'm vaguely, vaguely interested in the movie, though. Oh, are you? The trailer looks interesting. Looks sick. Is that what you're about to say? That's what no, you're about to say, wasn't it? it? No, like I don't know what this trend is all about with like this reimagining of old weird junk, like Snow White and the Hansel and Gretel, and now this Jack and the Beanstalk. Only it's Jack the Giant Slayer. Fallon's Fury, no less. So this is interesting. Uh, Warner Brothers or whoever is behind the movie uh, is releasing two games tonight based on the movie. This one has you playing as the giant. The other one has you playing as Jack. And I figured That's this clever. one. This one was a little bit more entertaining than the other. I believe both are free, too, so, you know, just play whatever. Interesting game, so it's just one level, literally. And you play as a giant and just smack things with a club. It's like a runner, except more like a hitter. It's a hitter. <laughs> a hitter? Yes. Right. I've coined a new genre. Well, that's cool. A, a giant. A giant puncher. Mm -hmm. A giant puncher. That's even better. And you move, you just uh, swipe left to right, or even just you know, kind of move your thumb over, move your dude. And, uh, you know, you just point on little dudes and hit them, and you get points. It's kind of interesting how uh, movie promotion has turned to this mobile game-centric kind of thing like this, you know? Because, yeah. I mean, like, think back when we were kids, you know, a movie promotion was you might have 3D glasses that had the movie name on the side of them. Or, you know, you're lucky you might get a poster or crazy like or that. Happy Meal. Right, right. Or, yeah, something like that. But now it's like, hey, let's do a mobile game. Yeah. And I'm sure the budget for these games are like a drop in the bucket compared to, you know, the actual advertising budget for a movie. Right. It's probably really easy to just like throw someone a hundred grand or whatever and be like, yo, make a couple games. <laughs> they don't have to be great. Go nuts. Yeah, this is pretty cool though. I like I like I like hitting things with my hands and blowing them up. I'm into yeah, I think this game is interesting. Yeah. And it's just very, very simple. Hey, you're a giant. Yeah. Uh, mess things up. Are you not a fan of houses? Great. Then hit them. Did you try the other one? I've not tried the other one. I'm curious if they feel the same. Oh yeah. You know, like like in regards to just like kind of like endless, kind of like button mashy. Yeah. yeah. Thing. Let's go nuts thing. So I, I've actually played this once. There we go. Got my rage meter going. I don't know what that means, but great. Uh, so the red blinking is good, not bad. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Probably. You actually do lose points every time you get hit. That's kind of the uh, the penalty. You can't die, but you'll just lose some points. I think the first time I played, I scored like nine thousand. So you know, I'm looking to I'm looking to beat my score right here. Looking for over 9,000. Ooh! Internet! Like Dragon Ball Z, guys. Yeah! Super Saiyan stuff. Funny hair. Yeah, bad guys who sound like vegetables. Yeah! You know, you just loop through, it seems like you just kind of loop through different, like, forests and city environments. Yep, on your way to the castle. Have you made it to the castle? Yes. What happened to you? Are we going to see? Yeah, we're going to see. I'm going to leave that up to, uh, to the video. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it yet. Do you have any kind of energy that you're using to hit, or can you just hit absolutely everything? You hit What's infinitely. Limiting? That's it. Ooh, oh, this is neat. You just hit all you, you want. Got, you got to juke these then? Yeah, yeah, except they don't really fly at you. Like, you can pretty much just not move. Who knows? Let me check that out. Oh Ouch. no, I lost 100 nice. points. Uh oh. I had to juke a little. You can eat cows, by the way. I don't know if I, if I said this yet. I feel like that's a cool mechanic that more games need. Cow eat function? Yeah. Probably oh, good. I'm into that. Are you eating cows? I thought you were more of a chicken kind of guy. Oh, I am more of a chicken guy. Right? But I don't think they have any egg whites in this game. Virgin Castle. Yeah, we are. Using my hands, getting dirty. Oh, I like that kick. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. I kicked a cow earlier. I wish I wish we would have caught that on camera. It was a real nice wind back and kick, and the cow just went flying, bro. So you basically just get to the castle, wreck everyone inside, and that's the game? Yep. Eight, seven animals that time. That was good. That's cool. <laughs> Jack, 
and the Beanstalk, Fallon's Revenge. What's it called again? Jack and the what? Giant Slayer. Jack and the Giant Slayer. You want to play so again, or you think you think the people there, got it? Isn't there any um, any in-app purchase or anything? Uh, I don't believe so. Let me let me try. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, weird. Oh, that's cool. I made mean, a purely promotional game. Neat. I guess yeah. uh, you like Jack. Let me see Check the map. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There's no. So, yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know how much more the people would need to see of this. I feel like, I feel like they got it. Oh, whoa! The giant has two heads. I didn't really notice yeah. that until now. Weird. You think they hang out? I don't know. I, I mean, presumably they have different personalities. Yeah. Oh man. That would probably suck. What if they got an argument, man? How are you uh, supposed to? The basis of a lot of uh, encounters with uh, giants and ogres and fantasy novels, though. Oh man! Like they need to get arguments. That would be the worst. Because what your if you other, just didn't like your other head? You just hate your other head. Yeah. You know? What do you do? Oh man. Yeah. But what if your other head was just like a total jerk and was always saying like really inappropriate things while you're out? Exactly. Like what if it was that guy? <laughs> you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Your head was always that guy. Oh, man. So, uh, is there a combo meter or anything? Or is this just kind of mindless? Nope, mindless. Hey, do you hate houses? Hit them. Rest. Oh, there's cows. Boom! Oh, man. Yeah, it's mean, completely mindless. You just do your thing. You can also run, too. Check that out. You just go nuts. Wow. So, can, can you just run all the way to the castle and disregard everything else? It yeah, kind of seems like, like everything that you are hitting. Where's your life meter, too? I don't think you have one. I think points are the only way you lose. Uh... Oh, see, so you. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, minus 60 for ouch. We're just running all the way. Yeah, yeah, it won't let me run in. We're done running, apparently. We'll just plot. I'll just, I'll just stand on that. I will refuse to attack. Let's beat the game with zero points, bro. A non violent. Oops. Giant. Yeah. You know, I just want to have fun and just hang out, guys. And I don't know what's your, up. Your, your audience with the king. That's yeah. All. Yeah. He, he said we could talk later. And so I was like, all right, let's go. And then he did this. He started sending all, all the bad guys against us. Well, I mean, we don't even necessarily know that they're bad guys. It's true. I mean, it could just be in your way. Yeah. It's possible, too. But that would make our giant a jerk. Take the road, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Listen, we have an audience of the king. We're late. That's yeah. actually the story of this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, it has nothing to do with, with the actual movie. We're just late for our like, dinner with the king. I like, I like how we're having a pacifist playthrough of Jack and the Beanstalk right now. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Far Cry 2 players. This is how you really play a no-kill run. Alright. Alright, here we go. Juking. Guys, I just want to hang out. What is going on? Hint. Avoid boulders. <laughs> see how many you can hit us. I don't know. It's really hard to get hit by a boulder. It's kind of weird that you're kind of dying in this game. <laughs> like, this kind of just like really screams promotional game. Now knowing that there's like just like no skill on that. Right. Are, there online, are there online leaderboards or anything? Does yeah. Yeah, oh, there, there are. are. There are. Oh, oh obviously oh, we're going to oh, be at the top. What about our pacifism run? I, I, I can't help it, man. I'm on a bridge. I'm on a bridge. I can't, I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm, I'm misunderstood. <laughs> I have really big feet. <laughs> so th there's only ever that one level, right? Yeah, that's it. I feel like we did pretty good for a pacifist run. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think score zero. <laughs> <laughs> score of zero, but... One it does stop. all the spikes somehow. So there you go. There you go. There you go. I guess so. if you're excited for this movie and you like promo games, <laughs> it doesn't hurt to give this a try. Yeah, why not? It's free. It'll be out tonight on the App Store.